pangatlo, two to four, tama? Eight days po sir. Eight days, okay. Now, please, General, mamaya na po yan, please submit to this committee that official document that indeed you allow Colonel Grijardo to have an official leave for eight days. That's what I want to How about the previous? The previous uh, uh, medical certificates or medical uh, checkups that was made by Grijardo. Did we inform the police or the PL? Yes, Your Honor. You have the documents for him? Yes, Your Honor. Request letter? But you have the data? Or please submit to this committee because, as mentioned by Chairman Abate, almost one month ago. We need to submit to you. Then the motion that was made, amended motion by by Congressman Flores, the medical officer report, the party checks here. Because, Mr. Chairman, because of this three exist letter, all it's all about medical excuse, Mr. Chairman. If Colonel Grijaldo is making a mockery of this hearing, and some police officers, in collusion of Colonel Grijaldo, I will not hesitate to cite him in contempt in this committee and all those 20 officials involved. To face cases, don't pose an apple gong. Kasi po, sa positive kayo po eh. One man. Kinayaan yung ganito. Of course, she's not upset with that kid. Pero dapat naman po, you help us. You help this committee. Tatlong hiring mo lang siya. Ang dito sa piyaw. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, I hope I hope you will submit those documents today, General. If I may, sir. Yes. We are helping. We are helping. Can you submit help those documents I mentioned today? Yes, sir. We will submit. I'll submit it today. Yes, sir. Please proceed. We are helping the uh, committee, sir, in this uh, endeavor. Actually, sir. Uh, when you receive the notice that there is a court hearing for today, I cancel the leave for, for November 27, just for this purpose, order. You cancel what? The leave, for sir. Your leave? No, sir, the leave of Colonel Grijaldo. Also, you cancel all the leaves only for this November 27, book. So, he's not on leave? He's not, sir, because he's... Okay, he bow. General Jutek, because the latest excuse letter of Colonel Biardo is dated is dated November, I think November 23. 6, 26. Sunday. Okay, November 26. But that was three days ago. But, ah yes, a day. But, I thought, join up, please take note of this. But the date of the medical request of this doctor was dated 11-23-2024. Eh, baka pati kayo, niloko nila. Pakicheck lang po. Yes, sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ah, let me proceed. Can I proceed, Mr. Chairman? Okay, please proceed. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Uh, with the indulgence of uh, Congressman uh, uh, Karaps Paduano, Congressman Nakob, and then is this in relation to the other yes. matters that we are discussing? Yes, the matter, matter, matter. After Congressman Nakob. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chair. Congressman Nakob, you're recognized. May I request, Mr. Chair, that the head of the PHAO uh, would answer my questions? Good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, good morning, Iha. 
Ano po ba yung rule sa PHAO regarding officers assigned there without any official assignment? Are they supposed to report there every day? Your Honor, Mr. Chair, when I assumed as the Chief PHAO last October 17 of, 20 yeah. of this year... Hindi ko po tinatanong kung kailan ka nag-assume. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, Ang tinatanong ko, ano po yung batas po ninyo sa PHAO? Tungkol dun sa mga opisyal na walang assignment na na-assign po dyan. Yes, sir. Pursuant ano po yung rule ninyo? Are they supposed to report there daily? Sir, pursuant to PNP Memorandum Circular Number 2024-001, dated January 10, 2024, it states here, sir, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, if I may read, Accounting. The system of recording the actual strength of PMP personnel placed on PHAO, DPRM, RPHAS, or ARMD through physical or virtual accounting and station slash office visits and the affixing of signatures of the personnel on the attendance sheet provided by the office. Sir, effective November 11, sir, when uh, TDPRM, Police Brigadier General Chinayo, issued a memorandum that starting November 11, 11, it will start the physical accounting of all PHAO personnel, sir. So when my when I assume office, sir, my predecessors accounts all the PHAO personnel assigning PHAO, sir, uh, virtual accounting. So effective November 11, sir, by virtue of the memorandum issued by Police Brigadier General Chinayo, the TDPRM, sir, we assume and we start the physical accounting to all PHAO personnel, sir. They are reporting to the officer 10 a.m. at 3 o'clock affixing their signature, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, sir. And pursuant to your records, uh, Colonel Grijaldo has uh, obediently obeyed all your requirements? Uh, since... May I know kung siya po ay religiously sinunod po yung inyong directive na yan na nag-report siya daily? He started physically reporting Ang our... Ang tinatanong ko lang po ay, Juan, kung doon sa requirement ng inyong uh, uh, procedure there, sinunod ba lahat ni Colonel Grijaldo yan? Yun lang yeah. po ng tanong ko. Eh. Yes po, Ang sir. Nagre-report siya araw-araw? Pumipirma siya sa doon sa logbook? Mr. Chair, Your Honor, sir, starting November 18, he reported physically, sir, and signed his attendance. Yes, I am. Not, I know. Sinabi mo na eh, but Papa. did Colonel Grijaldo obey that religiously? And yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, from November 18 to November 25, Mr. Chair. At to, to November 22, sorry, Mr. Chair. November 22? Yes, sir. From Monday, November Yung 18. November 11, nung lumabas yung directive. He was not around, Mr. Chair, informing us that he's still admitted in the hospital, Mr. Chair, Pasig Doctors Medical Hospital, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, now, yung, yung pag-re-report niya, naka-logbook po kayo, please submit to this committee yung logbook na pinipirmahan niya? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Your Honor. And uh, did he ask... Uh, May I know your uh, protocol also kung ang isang officer ng PNP ay mag avail ng medical services? Ano po yung protocol nun? Pardon, Mr. Chair, Your Honor? What is the protocol of the PNP para sa isang official na mag avail ng medical services? Kagaya ni Colonel Grijaldo, bigla na lang nagpa-confine. Uh, the hospital that he's admitted, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, is a private hospital or a government hospital in Pasig City. Uh, he did not uh, went to the PNP General Hospital to seek uh, medical yeah. treatment, Mr. Chair. Oh, so your protocol does not require 
na pag uh, mag avail ng medical services isang uh, police officer, hindi niya i-inform yung unit niya. Mr. Chair, uh, considering that when he was admitted, it's still a virtual accounting, uh, he did not inform us that he was uh, admitted or confined. It will only come to our attention when we uh, directed him a notice to explain last November 7, Mr. Chair, when he was absent during the no November 17 joint uh, Quadcom Committee, Mr. Chair. Marami Your Honor. Marami pong salamat. Mr. Chair, the, the, the situation is this. We have issued uh, a show cause order to Colonel Grijaldo uh, for being absent in the last uh, October 22 hearing. So we issued a show cause order and the answer of the lawyer of the uh, Colonel Grijaldo was that he was confined. So he was not also able to attend the November 7 mm -hmm. hearing that we conducted. Now, November 27, He's not around with a medical reason, the same as his excuse in the November 7 hearing. That is the situation, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, um, Congressman Nakok, for that uh, information. So, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. As, I, as I stated earlier, after Congressman Nakok, it is okay. uh, Congressman uh, P.M. Vargas. This is in relation yes. to the... Yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Haldo issue. Okay, seconds lang, Mr. Okay, Chair. Okay, please, uh, you're recognized. I uh, guess. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, narinig ko kasi yung ano, rotator cuff syndrome. No, On September 18, 2024, kung nakikita niyo ako dito, nakasling ako, I didn't have a syndrome. I had a torn rotator cuff and I had my surgery in September 18, 2024. Mm. On September 19, nakalabas na ako ng ospital. Okay. So this is elective surgery. Diba? Ngayon, kung talagang ano siya, kung talagang ang rotator cuff syndrome ay matindi yung ano sa kanya, eh, we can recommend for ano, for a complete disability retirement. Diba? Kasi may annual check-up ang mga polis. So kung may annual, ang, ang dito yata yung napol ko, pwede nilang gawin yan. At uh, pwede natin i-recommend ng ganun, kung ganun ka na lang. Pero based on my experience, lima ang screw ko sa balikat ko ngayon Torn rotator, torn bicep, frozen shoulder, pero one day lang, pinalabas na ako ng hospital. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you for that information. Uh, we uh, will take note of uh, the uh, information shared by by uh, Congressman uh, Vargas. And uh, we will forward this to the medical director of the House of Representatives so that uh, when he visits and confirms the confinement of Colonel Grijaldo, uh, he can discuss this with his personal doctor. Yes, uh, Congressman Abante. Uh, being the chairman of the Committee on Human Rights, on the basis of a humanitarian uh, attitude, I am willing to uh, I am willing to let him borrow a, my uh, wheelchair, oh, Mr. Chair, for him to be allowed to be here. In fact. Mayroon na ako dito ang gamot niya, yo, sapagat mayroon din akong pain. Yung tramadol and paracetamol, mayroon ako dito, Mr. Chair. Mayroon din akong diclopinac spray. So, you know, for humanitarian purposes, I am willing to give him my wheelchair and all of the medicines needed for him to attend here. Thank you for your generosity, Congressman Abante. Now we will